Welcome to our section on publishing metrics. In this video, we explore different ways journals can be ranked against one another. There are many different tools for doing this, but most use the same principle. The more times articles in a journal are cited, the higher that journal is ranked. The journal's impact factor is calculated by counting the number of times the journal's articles are cited, divided by the total number of articles published by the journal. This is usually measured over two years. Researchers are often encouraged to publish in high impact factor journals because hopefully their articles will be more highly cited. Impact factors are useful to compare journals within a particular discipline, but should not be used to compare journals in different disciplines. Different fields of research have different citation patterns. For example, articles in the sciences tend to be more highly cited than articles in the humanities, so impact factors of science journals tend to be much higher than for humanities journals. Let's have a look at some tools that calculate impact factors. The most highly regarded is JCR, Journal Citation Reports, and it uses citation data from Web of Science. Be aware that it has some weaknesses. It does not cover all journals, and in particular, its coverage of arts, humanities, and social sciences is relatively low. You can search for an individual journal title or a category to find journals in a field of study. To look for a category, for example, microbiology, click on the Select Categories button and scroll down to find the appropriate category. Select Microbiology. Close the selection window and click on the Submit button in the bottom left-hand corner. You will see a list of journals ranked by impact factor, highlighted in red. Click on Customize Indicators to select other ways of ranking journals in this category. For example, the Immediacy Index gives an estimate of how quickly articles in the journals get cited, while the Cited Half-Life gives an estimate of the number of years that articles continue to be cited. Let's look at another tool, Scamago. It's similar to JCR. The difference is it uses data from Scopus and covers a much larger group of journals. Click on the Journal Rankings link at the top of the page and use the All Subject Areas and all subject categories drop down menus to choose your area. You can also refine by region and type of publication. Using microbiology again, pick immunology and microbiology as subject area, then microbiology as subject category. The column labeled SJR is Scamago's version of the impact factor. The other columns provide further information about the journals. Scamago's list may differ from JCR's because it uses slightly different data. The third tool, Google Scholar, is free at scholar.google.com. Click on the Metrics button at the top of the page and you'll see a menu of subject areas on the left. Choose Life Sciences and Earth Sciences, then click on the Subcategories link. Choose Microbiology again. This brings up a list of the top 20 microbiology journals in ranked order of how many times articles in them get cited. The H index for a journal gives the number of articles in that journal, which have been cited at least H times. For example, if a journal has an H index of 100, this means that there are 100 articles that have been cited at least 100 times each, but there are not 101 articles that have been cited 101 times each. There are also two important listings of journals that you may have heard about. The ERA list, which stands for Excellence in Research for Australia, is significant because the government funding for university research is partly dependent on how many articles are published in these journals. The ERA list is accessible from the library homepage. Under Journals, you can select your field of research. When ERA first started, journals were ranked A star, A, B, and so on. These days, ERA journals are not ranked. The other list, known as the ABDC, the Australian Business Deans Council, concentrates on business journals and ranks them using A+, A, B, etc. If you are in a business school, you will be asked to publish your research in A+, or A journals from the ABDC list. 